Hi guys, welcome to part 2 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. I know it's quite naked right now, but I still have plenty of weeks before everyone start hearing the bells. What will I do in this part 2? Two main things. A mountain and I will start a new stair. The mountain. I have a protector and I told you that I want waterfalls, two waterfalls coming down from each of the shoulders. So I need a lake as a source for that waterfalls on top of a mountain. But there is no mountain guys. No mountain at all. So I will build this mountain. A quick fix. I may use my beloved uh, rock paper that you have seen me using plenty of time during the past season. That it is very beautiful to render a mountain and quick to render a mountain. But the statue is icy, the rock is grey. If I build a mountain with this rock paper, not the same color, brown, green, black, and the statue gray, no. It will not fit together. Um, they will not fit together, sorry. So I will uh, start building a mountain using a new technique. I will be using styrofoam, not extruded the styrofoam but expanded the styrofoam the cheap version of the styrofoam and then some wall plaster mm. not standard wall plaster that will take ages to cure but i found a wall plaster that has 10 minutes of curing time it starts curing is start hardening in 10 minutes then it will be hard rock in 24 hours but what I want is a something that can be used and uh, uh, not take ages to cure uh, I know why am I not using the ceramic powder you have seen me using for the, uh, for the island last season and many other things because it's not a cheap powder, it is a ceramic powder so it is a little expensive but this plaster, this wall plaster I will be using is so cheap 5 kilograms, 7 euros or 7 USD they are equivalent, so 5 kilograms uh, means that one kilograms around 1.3, 1.4 euros or USD, very cheap. And with one kilograms plus water, you can get <laughs> a really good amount of work done. So I will use my hands to shape the mountain behind my protector and then also the little lake on top of it. It will be a messy job, I know. I will work intensely, maybe I will not work in that corner, I will move the statue here, then build the mountain around it, then replace the statue there and the mountain too, because I will use some of my white uh, styrofoam panels to, uh, as a base for the statue and the mountain. And also I will need some more styrofoam panels to then carve the river. I don't know if uh, not the river has a very long river, but the very narrow river. Uh, but I don't know if I will be able to do it uh, or start doing it in this part too. Then the new stairs. Mm -hmm. One element is here, other elements, sorry are there and it will be a huge stair not very tall uh, 
but the complexity was to design something, as I already told you, that is uneven, that is asymmetrical. All the steps will be asymmetrical. It's not common to see a stairs with uh, not symmetrical steps, but I will try to uh, do it. They will have a different uh, depth and different height. A little complicated, but not very tall, maximum, not very uh, high or tall. Yes, it was correct. Maximum uh, seven centimeters, eight. And it will be some sort of stair integrated with some strange platform. And I will explain that in some minutes. I don't know where I need to start from the mountain or from the uh, stairs. I will decide in the next minutes. Then, uh, I don't know, maybe I will introduce you a new technique for making uh, more um, dense water using the soap, a more rigid water, because I risk uh, to have the water force to break down if I use the same technique I used last season. But I will not use anything uh, chemically dangerous for my life or for your lives. I will use some common elements, some common, common products to modify chemically, uh, to alter chemically the structure of the soap. L let's try to go that way. And then, and then I don't know right now, maybe I will add something more. But let's get a real.
Well, guys, stairs, a new stairs. I must admit that it is not that simple to imagine, to invent, to get something new each season. And uh, last season, 2023, I lacked some of that imagination. Yes, I had two stairs, one giant egg stair, but I'm not that satisfied with that. Mm, in general, I'm not satisfied with my 2023 Christmas village, but that's the past. So I wanted for this new adventure, for this new season, something odd, uh, a stairs that it can be also a mini platform that can support buildings, a statue, and so on. And the view will be something strange, something about Ukraine when seen from the top. But it can also be observed from the front view and the most difficult parts will be the steps all my stairs have always had regular standard symmetrical steps okay so why not trying something new why not trying to have asymmetrical steps, non-symmetrical steps. That means innate and in depth. And that's the real difficulties to assemble, to get th those steps. And here I have the steps from the right side and I also have the steps from the left side. Each of the steps, you have nine steps, nine and nine to the left, so 18 steps. But those are cutted from circles that have something strange in common. They have not the same center. When placing the two steps, generally you tend to do this thing here. So the same distance from here and the same distance from there. So you simply have to make circles that have the same center and different diameters. <laughs> what, the, what is the difficulties in that? Nothing. <sighs> so I decided to go crazy and have something that has no, not, um, sorry, uh, decided to go with circles, circles that have different centers. And I will place them in some odd and strange ways. But before getting to the steps, let me start from the far side of the steps. Ta-da! Guys, imagine this from an, a top view. And this is the far side of the stairs platform. And this will be one piece. Okay, guys? Uh, obviously, you see a seam there because this piece is huge. It is... 36 centimeters by 29 centimeters. You easily understand that it is made from a big circle and some small circles there. Or cylinder, cylinder, big cylinder and small cylinders cut not exactly in the half, but almost in the half. And this will support something. Not the statue, maybe a building. 
and the seams means that I have to cut these in two parts in order to get it done, to cut it rounded and have it of, the, of an eight of seven centimeters. It is almost regular. Okay, guys, almost regular. It's not that simple to have this. And this piece was too big to cut uh, with my cutting, uh, of wire cutting table. And my table is way taller than a standard proxon. So imagine this will not fit in any standard uh, hot wire cutting table. But let me take another piece, guys. Look, this one too. And if I made things correctly, this will almost fit there. So <laughs> this is a huge stairs, guys. A huge stair. Uh, and I will start by assembling these two by assembling these two pieces. Because it will take some time to for the glue to get cured. They if they don't fit perfectly, maybe it is upside down. No, uh, I still have some small um, grooves there that I will fill up. Let me go with the steps. I have some more parts, guys. Okay, two there, and one more here. So it is a huge stair. Let me go with, oops, I have some PVC glue there. PVA glue, sorry. R1, R1, and R2 that have different eight. This one is nine millimeters. This one is seven or six millimeters. This one is seven millimeters. And I will try to get them assembled. Okay, so this is there, they will go there. Okay, not precisely there, but here. Okay, good. Now, let me mark from this side here, 1.1 centimeter. Okay, and from the other side, let me mark 0 0.85. So I will go with almost 9 millimeters.
Okay guys, <clears throat> this is the new stairs <laughs> with asymmetrical steps, left, right, and then spaces for buildings, a statue, something more here. I'm gonna stop here, obviously it's not finished. I still need to get a little higher and it is missing the balusters. <clears throat> and the balusters will be made out of the 3D printer. We have the end 3D printer because <clears throat> these the only thing, the only thing I will 3D print. Uh, I still don't know what to print. I need to think about the balusters, and then also the statue will be 3D printed. But guys, this is the stairs. Final recap of part two of the 2024 series, guys, and I am starting from there. The mountain behind the protector. <laughs> now, guys, you can understand why I needed to expand left and right. This is 
huge. This is um, the mountain, the start of the mountain, because it will continue at another level there and then also there. But I wanted this to be like that, guys. The protector in front, the waterfall, one there, and the other one and there. And on top, you can see the space for the lake that will be the source of the waterfall plural guys and I don't know if you can see but up there I made a little groove as there will be also water not real water coming from there on the lake so the lake uh, get the water from the mountain and then the waterfalls get the power from the lake behind the protector guys okay and it's far from being finished i still need to paint to maybe um sand sandpaper it a little more but i need to wait for some days to the, the um, that the um, uh, wall plaster uh, cure a little more uh, because it took 10 kilograms of <laughs> wall plaster to finish that and uh, the mountain will be painted different colors etc but uh, starting from the styrofoam this is what you can achieve with this new technique you haven't yes I know uh, I've uh, uh, not damaged but I uh, placed the sum or two more plaster and uh, on the mountain and it covers also the statue but I will work on that and I can still I still can uh, repaint obviously there too I have to repaint uh, the statue but guys this will take me another 10 or 12 hours of work before completing it also from this side <clears throat> and this is the result huge guys and very very heavy uh, and I also broke the base there but I couldn't replace it so I managed to uh, join the two pieces but anyway I will cover it with another piece of styrofoam because I needed the river to be a little uh, steep okay and there I would go with the river uh, I don't know maybe you ate that but I still also need to have some vegetation some uh, trees some moss etc very very far from being finished but the mountain is getting there uh, don't think that I will stop the mountain here guys I would continue the mountain maybe a little more towards the inside in order to have some space there for something more but the effect from this point of view is also this okay guys so the mountain and the protector with the two waterfalls it will be even more different and the waterfall will not cover the, mm, the protector because the water comes from the shoulders uh, that's my way of doing a mountain differently than using the rock paper it is time consuming I know but the result is is like that guys okay I don't know Mm, I I wait for your comments if you like it or not. Anyway, I can I can no more remove the statue from there. Uh, obviously, inside it is empty, and you have seen me placing the styrofoam in order to create the lake, etc. Okay, so uh, more probably I will add some more rocks behind the head because otherwise the water uh, is not uh, perfectly 
uh, rooted towards the shoulder. But it's step one of the, <laughs> of the mountain and the statue. And let me get here, guys. What I was talking you about is from the top, from the top level, from the a top view. I wanted this to be a stairs, yes, but also some sort of. <laughs> you will make jokes about that, but you will have fun about me. A little spaceman, okay. For me, this is an icon of a spaceman, the head with the hearing system and then the hands and then the body there. Still, I, still is eyes, yes, but for me this can also be obviously a cross if you want. But um, with those little things on the, on the side, the ears, let's call them the ears. I don't think it is a cross, but also a cross, but for me it is a spaceman. And the stairs, guys, with the um, asymmetrical steps, and you can see that it is strange, still need to be painted and everything else uh, to add uh, some texture on top of the steps. And from this side too. And I've tried. I tried to go with the same um, design on the steps from left to right, but I don't know if they are perfectly symmetrical. But guys, hey, this is asymmetrical. This is asymmetrical. Who cares if the two sides are not made uh, in the same way? Just look at this step here. It is completely different from this step here. This one is completely different from this one, and this other step here, almost similar to this one, etc. But the three uh, last steps are different from right to left. And also here I have two, I have three aligned steps there, and here I have just one and two aligned steps. I wanted it to be like that, and <laughs> I don't know if it was a pure chance, but I managed to get them cathed correctly and reach the top ear, the five centimeters, <laughs> with the nine uh, steps. And they are not uh, all nine millimeters because nine by nine uh, it is 8.1 centimeters, but this is five, just five centimeters. This is seven, this is five centimeters tall and cutting the circles uh, vertically calculating the right space the right eighth <laughs> it wasn't that simple simply because when you cut something with a not wire cutting a table or not wire cutting machine um, the it if it is too intense it generates a cut uh, wider than what you have uh, um, uh, think it. So, <laughs> I don't know, I, I got lucky this time, okay? So the steps are there. A little mosquito there. Bloop, no, away, it is very late. And so guys, this is it. Obviously, uh, I still need to have some white panels be uh, under uh, the the the, um, the stairs, and as I already told you, I will have the balusters, two buildings there, three buildings with this one there, a statue, then a little park here. Uh, and I don't know if I will get this from another angle or no, from the back, maybe to access another level or if it will be isolated like that. Maybe it will be there on the on the back, far back, or maybe in the front, I, I don't know. But this is a new stairs. And maybe I will do some other stairs because I can't survive with just one stairs for all this layout. But things are huge this season, guys. 
this is the hugest stairs or platform with stairs that I have ever made. I don't know if I will get some balusters there. I'm not sure about that, but surely, um, no, sorry, not balusters, and rails there. But balusters, yes, here and there, and maybe some end rails, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe in the middle, mm, I, I don't know, I don't know. If you want, you are free to suggest me to give me comments on how to proceed. And don't, guys, seven hours of work, total work for this little beast there, and 14 hours for that mountain. 14 hours. See you for the outro, guys. Yes, obviously, Space Boy. That is the name I was missing during the final recap. Doesn't the new stair remind you of Space Boy? As an icon, obviously. You know, Space Boy, the cartoon from the 50s or the 60s. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> guys, the new stair is there. The mountain there now you understand why i needed to expand everything is huge this season maybe you are eating everything right now but the starting point is there the starting point is there then <laughs> i will get in touch with the next section the one from the left of your point of view also the mine if i'm turning back and Sorry guys, but I will not have time to introduce you the new technique of making water using the soap, chemically modified, because it's very late. I will talk about it in part three. And very, very hard work, very difficult work, very messy work. It took me two hours to clean everything before shooting the final recap and this outro. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my English and see you for part three, but only if you really want. Bye guys!